Perfect, this is all I'll need. Now that I had my food, it was time to start. Here's today's set list. You may notice that Goblet of Fire and Order of the Phoenix are missing. This is completely intentional and not me not having enough money. Penis. I've recruited my friend Brooke to help me on this perilous occasion. Brooke has a debilitating chronic illness called Won't Stop Fucking Eating Disease. All the food belonged to her and would be eaten by the end of the first movie. It's difficult being her friend and having to pay for her food, but her mom says I have to be nice to her. Matthew had the audacity to not be here yet. I was devastated to say the least. To say the most, I was desperate. To say something in the middle, I was it'll biddle middle diddles. Matthew had finally arrived, but since he was over an hour late, I will no longer refer to him by his first name. The first riddle was trying to figure out how to get you the television to work. Combs. What? I'm so jealous. What? I like honeycombs. Uh, the real thing. <laughs> finally, after one and a half hours, the movie started. That's my dad. That's my son. Okay, but who are you? Blow me, Harry. Shut up, Stymel. Who even? Who are you? Calling her fat? That's rude. <laughs> All right, team. You know what time it is. We finished the first movie, so now it's time for Matthew's Intermission Entertainment. Fuck! That is art. That is art, beauty, grace. Holy shit. He just did that. Do you have any idea how serious Fuck. this is? <laughs> Stimel didn't stop saying that accursed word throughout the entirety of Chamber of Secrets. Talk about a one-trick pony, a one-joke yoke, a stupid kid. I must ask you not to scream. Fuck. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to... I see that little grin. I see. I see you're trying to get rid of my jokes. Oh, you're doing a good job, bitch. Calm down. Night had fallen. It was so dark in the room that we wouldn't be able to know if a person had died already. Unless you're fucking Matthew Stimel, I'm too good for the movie, just gonna whip my phone out. It was time to murder him. I had planted a trap while he was in the bathroom. Will he just fall for it? No, of course he doesn't. Because he's too cool to- The Merc! Do you want to see my wand, Tom? I decided force was the best way to take him out. It was Ginny Weasley who opened yes, the please. chambers. An obvious threat. Even Brooke Zero Fears Davis was uncomfortable. I decided the best way to defeat him was in a game of wits. Yeah. I'll fuck you up, I'll fuck you up, I'll fuck you up. I actually respect you as a human being. Gotcha! One time of the day! Lupin! Gah! Pretty good. I couldn't believe it. He beat me. <laughs>